All too often, new DSLR owners will head out to shoot some video for the first time and pay very little attention to the shutter speed setting on their cameras. And unfortunately, the result of having the incorrect shutter speed set will result in unusable video. Typically, your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be 1 50th or 1 60th of a second. If you're shooting at 30 frames per second, set your shutter speed to 1 60th of a second. When shooting at a faster frame rate, like 60 frames per second, you could shoot at a faster shutter speed, upwards of 1 1 20th to 1 1 60th of a second, to help freeze action during slow motion playback. The shutter speed setting on your camera plays a vital role in determining how your video will look to the viewer. Too fast a shutter speed and any movement in the video could look jerky and jittery. Too slow a shutter speed and any action of moving subjects in the frame could have motion blur. When a videographer needs to shoot lower light conditions and there is not a big enough aperture on the lens to let in enough light, a slower shutter speed may be necessary to record usable video. Keep in mind that rapidly moving subjects or quick camera moves may result in motion blur. Additionally, when a videographer needs to blur out a background to emphasize the subject, a faster shutter speed will be necessary to compensate for the large lens opening. If too fast a shutter speed is set, then like we saw earlier, jittery movement may result. Drop your ISO or use a neutral density filter to reduce light reaching the sensor so your shutter speeds don't get too fast. Keep in mind that proper shutter speed settings will help increase the probability of successfully grabbing still frames from your video for use on the web or to make prints from. Understanding how shutter speed affects your video will result in a cleaner, more professional looking production and keep your viewers coming back for more.